Okay, um, we're working on the escrima. When we're swimming through. Boom, and then from here, we land here. I trap, I bring across, boom, right to his back. From here, it makes it pretty easy. If I can trap his arm like this, the take down's pretty easy. I can just go forward here, boom, and start locking him up here and going right to his back. Again, we're here. Boom. We're doing here. Doing our screen my drill. Boom. Locked him up. Boom. Arm drag to uh, hook in the leg and immediately taking him down. Okay. Boom. We're here. 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 Boom. Bring it across. Straight to the back. I have also the. Boom. Oh, so as you can see, that throw, that arm drag, leads to so many things you can do. Now we're on the ground. And now you can get a little bit closer. So, attacking the back from here. From the standard side control, my knees are wide, feet pointed in. I had one hand under the neck. He may, depending on his skill level, if it's a street fight, the person, they're going to be extremely uncomfortable and they're going to want to turn away from you. As he starts to bring this arm through, I slow down his movement by holding on to his waist, okay? Because most of the time what they'll do is they'll bump and boom, and they can bump and get out. Boom, and they get out really fast. They just turn away. So as he bumps, I slow him down as he continues to go, 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 go. Boom. Already my foot went in. Just sit up so you can see. My foot already went in. And as he starts to climb up, I don't let him sit up. I immediately, I immediately start taking his back and finishing him off. Okay? So, back on the side. So we're here, he starts to turn. Boom, as he keeps going, boom, I stopped him here. Trap, I can bring this foot over. Boom, I'm right here. Trapping everything, keep your head real tight here, and then I spider to walk my hand here. Cup, slide it through, and finish him off. A little bit faster, if you would be here. Go, boom. Already. My second, my first hook wasn't able to go in, but it's not a problem because I'm immediately attacking this neck. He's gonna have to address this quickly. While he's addressing that, I'm gonna finish him. If I have to, I can bring my second hook in and finish him here. All right, uh, one final one here. If he just stays stagnant, I can start attacking the paintbrush here. So. Arms are strong when they're close to your body, weak when you get them away from the body. So if I can, right now, if he stays here, I'm not gonna be able to do a paintbrush. But if I bring my hand inside here, and I use the forearm like a wedge, push him forward, and now I can start going for, for the paintbrush over here. But the real reason why I do this, because I know this hand's gonna come to the rescue. So. As I start to go here, as he starts to bring that hand in, that's perfect. That's what I want, okay? I can secure the kimura there, or if I was under the head, I could do the same thing. I'm starting to go for the paintbrush. The arm goes in. I feed it to the bottom hand, and my chest gets below him, tight here. Now I'm gonna grab my wrist. Now I have control, my back leg. Right here. My back leg goes right here. And now I bring my right leg over and I start sitting straight back. From here, makes it very easy now to, there's multiple attacks I can do from here. Uh, probably the main one I can do is similar to the, what I did on the first time. I trap here and this hand goes straight across, guys. I have him here. One hand choke, it's done. Boom. 
boom. Finish him off with one hand easily. So move with the day, boss. <laughs>